Welcome to Raj Technologies. Myself, Raj Shekhar. And in the last video, we have seen about Java introduction. And uh, since we said Java is object-oriented programming language, before we enter into Java, we should have a basic idea of object-oriented concepts. So we are having six important object-oriented concepts. They are object, class, data abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, and polymorphism. And in this video, we are going to see the object-oriented feature. Let us start off with object. So what is this object? Object is like any real-time entity. Object acts as what? Any real-time entity. Like example, if you consider this marker only. So when you consider this marker, where we can give some properties like it's having the dimensions, the four color is like our white and the color of the pen is blue and the price is some 25 and the made is by cameling. So these are some properties and what this marker, marker can do we can write by using this marker. So any real time entity where we can give some properties or where it can do some actions then we can call it as what? It's an object. So how to define an object is like an object is a real time entity which has identity state and behavior so what is an object it's a real time entity which has identity state and behavior so let us understand more of this object by using a diagram let me consider an object like a car. Let me go with a car, like example like height and car. So how to identify a car uniquely? By using the registration number. Then for a car, we go with the state. So the meaning of state is like the properties what we give to the car. Like example, we can check for the make, the model of the car, the price of the car, the color of the car, the capacity like seating capacity or engine capacity, the fuel type like petrol or diesel like that. So the properties whatever we give to the object is called a state. And this state even we call it as data members, we call it as variables, even we call it as fields, we call it as properties. We call it as attributes. All the meanings are same. Different people use different terminologies. And for an object, we can go with the behavior. The meaning of behavior is like the operations what we perform with the car. By using this car, what we can do? We can drive the car. We can apply brake. We can change gear. We can reverse. So what are the functionalities we are doing with the object? That is called as the behavior. And this behavior, we can even call it as methods or functions or operations. So what is an object? An object is a real-time entity which has ID, state and behavior. And in the next video, we will be seeing about the next object-oriented feature about class. So that's about in this video. Thank you all. Please like, subscribe and share. Thank you once again.